everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I brought you this bronze dewy glowy look for fair skin. I've been wanting to film this video for quite some time now and I thought what better time to do it than the springtime with summer coming up right around the corner. This is totally the time of year when people want to achieve a light coverage, a nice bronzed dewy look to the skin during the spring and summertime. Now I love that all year round but especially during the summer. Now I know there are quite a bit of videos out there showing you how to achieve a bronze dewy look. However, I feel like a lot of those people are already bronzed and tan and I'm not. But I love that bronzed dewy look. I love it all the time. And if you watch my videos, you know I love a glowy look and I never have a matte face. So I've come a long way and I have picked up a lot of tips and tricks on how to get a bronzed dewy look for fair skin. If you do like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, go ahead and leave a comment down below if you have any product recommendations for a bronzed, dewy look or just products that you love so we can all learn about those products that you enjoy as well. Don't forget to also subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any more of my videos. And let's just jump right into it. I'm starting out with the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Moonlight and I am putting that on the high points of my face to give myself a glow underneath my foundation. I'm just taking my Beauty Blender and blending that out. This is going to help give you kind of that glow from within look as you are putting it underneath your foundation. We're going to go in with it again later but it just kind of helps to start the glow process. I am then going in with the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. I love this foundation because it's super lightweight and with one layer it just evens the skin tone out so nicely. However, you can go in and build it up in areas that you do need more coverage and it still looks super natural, dewy, and glowy and it just gives your skin such a healthy look. And I love using the Beauty Blender to achieve this as well because it just even adds to that more dewy, fresh look with the wet Beauty Blender. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just blending that foundation all over my skin with my Beauty Blender. And then I will take it down my neck as well to blend everything. This foundation looks a tiny bit yellow on camera. It matches super well in person. I'm not sure why it looks super yellow on camera, but it does match in person. So I'm just dragging that down my neck to make sure everything is nice and blended. I am then going in with concealer and I'm just going to be concealing and highlighting just a tiny bit underneath my eyes and then the center of my face to even everything out and give some dimension to my face. This is not really going to do anything dewy or glowy to the skin. This is just kind of concealing and highlighting the inner parts of the face. Again, I'm using my Beauty Blender just to blend that out, and I love using the Beauty Blender, especially for concealer, because it will pick up any excess concealer that you put on your face, and instead of just caking it on your face, it'll pick up the excess, so you can't really overdo the concealer with this, which is really nice, and then it just gives you a more natural look. I'm taking it underneath my cheekbone as well just to lighten that area up because we are going to go in with cream contour and this will just help keep that area nice and clean. So the reason that I'm cream contouring today is because the more cream or liquid products you go in with, the more natural your skin will look and the more dewy and glowy your skin will look. So we're going to avoid quite a bit of powder today. We're still going to go in with some powder, but just use as little powder as possible. I think I'm using a Lorac cream contour palette to contour and I'm just applying it with a brush and then blending it out with my damp beauty blender again I do this because the beauty blender will pick up excess product instead of just spreading it over your face so I started out on my forehead where I normally contour and where the Sun would naturally hit my face and then I'm going in the normal contour areas underneath my cheekbone around my jaw and down the sides of my nose just a little bit to even everything out. This is going to contour but also bronze up the skin and give your skin some warmth. So again, applying it with a brush and then once I have it in the general area of where I want to apply it, I go in with my Beauty Blender to blend it out. On my cheekbone, I am going to be kind of pushing the product up onto my cheek. 
this is going to help the bronzed effect and just blend it out and keep the lower area of your face nice and bright. If you take your contour down too far, it can start to look muddy and also drag your face down. So we wanna push the product up to push the face up. And this technique will just help blend the contour super nicely and just make it nice and bronzed. So then I'm just blending it out on my jawline as well and taking it down my neck. I'm going back in the center of my face with a little bit of a concealer to just brighten that area up just so it doesn't get too muddy and dark just to bring some lightness back into the skin. I'm then going back in with those custom enhancer drops and I'm putting them on the high points of my face again where we highlight earlier this is going to give us an even dewier effect and because this is a super dewy and glowy look I put it underneath my foundation to give us that glow from within and then I'm putting it over top my foundation to give us more of that wet look which I just totally vibe with and I'm then blending that out with my beauty blender again just because it blends it in to the rest of the makeup so nicely and picks up any extra product. I am then going to be setting my eyelids and just some inner parts of my face so the concealer doesn't move. You do still need to use some powder when you are going in with a dewy and glowy look just to make sure it doesn't move. So I'm going in with very little powder just where I need to which is my eyelids, underneath my eyes, around my smile lines, around my mouth and just in the center of my face. It doesn't really take away from the glowy look when you go in with just a very small amount of powder to set those areas. I did my brows off camera. I'm then going into the eyes and for this bronzed, summery, glowy look, I'm keeping the eyes very simple, very, very simple. I'm taking a powder bronzer and I am just taking that on a blending brush and putting that throughout my crease and this is just going to give our eyes some definition and basically more so just warm up the eye and just give you that bronze look for your eyes without it being too much. When you use a bronzer, it's going to look more natural and just clean and it will blend out super easily. I'm taking on a pencil brush and taking it along my lower lash line as well to give that area some warmth and definition. For the eyelids, I am just using a powder highlighter and putting that all over my eyelids with a flat shader brush taking that fluffy brush and just blending everything out with nothing else on the product and then I'm taking that same highlighter and I am highlighting my brow bone and then the inner parts of my eyes. That is it for the eyeshadow. It's super simple when you just use a bronzer and a highlighter. It just gives your eyes some warmth and definition. To finish off the eyes, I am just going in with mascara, no lashes today, we're just keeping it simple. And I am going in with the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. This is hands down my all time favorite mascara. It just works so well for my lashes, it gives me such great length and volume and I literally only have to, I don't even have to dip my brush back into the tube which is super nice and it just, it gives me so much volume and I just love the way this works with my lashes. I'm then going in with a powder bronzer and this is just to set the cream contour because you don't want it to move or sweat off your face throughout the day. Again, going in with very little powder. There's very little powder on my brush, just enough to set the cream product so we don't take away from the glowy, dewy effect. I am then going to be taking a powder blush just because I don't have a cream or liquid blush. You can definitely use a cream or liquid and it will give you an even dewier effect, but you will also want to set that with a powder blush if you do that. So just keep that in mind. So I'm just going in with some blush on my cheekbones to give me a nice colorful pop to my cheeks. I'm then going in with a powder highlighter to set the cream highlighter. You want to set everything, but again, just with a very little amount of powder, but this is also going to add to that glowy, dewy effect as you can see here. It just gives your skin that nice, wet look. I'm then just going in with two different glosses to give me the perfect lip combo, and then that's it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this and picked up some tips along the way. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video.